Today's video will focus on understanding how to calculate the horizontal sextant angle using the sextant. So uh, sextant can be used to measure the vertical sextant angle, the celestial body altitudes and the horizontal sextant angle. I have previously made videos on how to calculate um, the vertical sextant angle and celestial body altitudes using the sextant. I'll give you the links to those videos as well. But this video is completely on focusing, uh, or rather it's focusing on understanding how to calculate the horizontal sextant angle uh, using the sextant. So to calculate the horizontal sextant angle, um, unlike the vertical sextant angle and celestial body altitudes, you hold the sextant horizontally as you see in this picture so the horizontal sextant angle the word itself tells you that the sextant has to be held horizontally to obtain the horizontal sextant angle normally the horizontal sextant angles are obtained between three objects and i'll show you how it's done and those three objects should be separated by at least well, the popular term is 45 degrees. They say at least 45 degrees, but if you don't have any choice, but uh, you do best with what you have available. But try to use the three objects which are at least separated by 45 degrees or more if possible. So the wider the separation, the better is the angle and uh, the intersection of which gives you a good position. The narrower the angles, the accuracy kind of drops. All right, so choose three objects which are widely separated as you see in the picture here. So over here we can assume that there are about two islands or one lighthouse. So the lighthouse is in the center. You can see the ship's position as well and in the sea, uh, if it looks like anything like a ship. And then you have two islands and a, and a lighthouse in the middle and you will obtain the horizontal section angle and obtain the ship's position using those horizontal section angles. And I'll show you how it's done. All right, so basically this is what you will be doing. You will be obtaining the position lines from the three objects, measuring the horizontal sextant between them, and then the total angle between the two objects which are widely located. So the extreme right and the extreme left object. All right, so we verify the position using all the three angles. The angle between the extreme left and the center, the angle between the extreme right and the center, and also the total angle between the extreme left and the extreme right object so let's start so as you can see we are kind of assuming that the three objects we have are two islands and a lighthouse between the two islands so first let's get a horizontal section angle between one of the islands and the lighthouse to do so you hold the sextant horizontally and you look at the extreme right or extreme left which is the island in this case and start to move the index spark lamp along the arc of the sextant as you do that the reflected image of the island will start to move the island cannot move of course right but the reflected image of the island as you see through the sextant's telescope starts to move and you have to superimpose it onto the lighthouse in the center it looks something like this so you can see that the superimposition of, is taking place between the reflected image of the island on the right side and the lighthouse. When this happens, stop the index spark lamp, note down the horizontal section angle. Then do the same for the extreme left island and the lighthouse in the center. Look at the island, put in your horizontal sextant at zero degrees and zero minutes and then start dragging the reflected image of the extreme left island onto the lighthouse and get the horizontal sextant angle so if you then get it i'll show it to you again this is what it will look like so the reflected image is superimposed onto the lighthouse you measure the horizontal sextant angle and do the same for the extreme left island superimpose it on the lighthouse so you get two horizontal section angles so once you get the two horizontal section angles you can then use it to measure the ship's position at sea so for example here 
the horizontal section angle between the extreme left island and the lighthouse was 74 degrees let's assume and the horizontal section angle between the extreme right lighthouse and the light extreme right island and the lighthouse in the center was 60 degrees as shown in the drawing so the total angle between the extreme left to the extreme right island would be the sum of the two individual horizontal section angles which in this case is 74 degrees plus 60 degrees which is 134 degrees we can now use these values of the horizontal section angles to plot the ship's position at sea let's see how to do that now the rule is and of course you can use a three arm protractor or you can use a normal protractor we will be using the horizontal section values of the sextant only and we'll be using the concepts of bearing and angles i'll show you what to do so here for example if your horizontal section angle is less than 90 degrees you subtract it from 90 and you got it towards when we say towards that means you draw it towards the ship that is you draw it towards the sea for example if your horizontal section angle is 60 degrees then you subtract it from 90 90 minus 60 gives you 30 degrees towards if your horizontal section angle is greater than 90 degrees you will subtract 90 from the angle so the bigger smaller value from the bigger value and you will call it away and that means you plot the position line away from the ship that is you plot it towards the land so here for example if your horizontal section angle was 134 degrees you will subtract 90 from it you get 44 degrees and you will plot it away so let me show you how it's done so of course the first horizontal section angle between the extreme left island and the lighthouse was 60 degrees or se sorry it was 74 degrees so you will because it's less than 90 you will subtract it from 90 and you get 16 degrees and you call it towards that means you draw it towards the ship you draw it towards the sea so what you do is you join the two objects and then using a protractor you measure 16 degrees from the island and also 16 degrees from the lighthouse just the way i'm showing you then intersect those two lines at the point of intersection use it as the center and then using a compass draw a circle and make sure the radius is the distance from the point of intersection to the object the circle should be intersecting both the objects all right you do something very similar for the next one as well so the next horizontal angle between the extreme right island and the lighthouse was 60 degrees since it's less than 90 you will subtract it from 90 90 minus 60 is 30 degrees it's towards that will draw the position lines towards C. So what you will do is you will use a protractor, join the two objects, the lighthouse and the extreme right island, then use a protractor, similarly measure 30 degrees, draw it towards the C, the two lines intersect, that becomes the center of the circle, put the compass on the center of the circle and draw a circle so that it intersects both the lighthouse and the extreme right position where the two circles intersect in the sea or at sea rather gives you the position of the ship all right so this is where a ship is located we can also confirm the position of the ship here by using the bigger horizontal section angle that was the angle between the two islands so how can we do that remember the horizontal section angle between the two islands was 74 degrees plus 60 degrees that was 134 degrees and since it's more than 90 you will subtract 90 from it you get 44 degrees and you will draw it away from the ship that means you draw it towards the land so what you do is you join the two islands with the protractor draw 44 degrees but do you draw it this time towards the land because it has to be away then join the two lines the point of intersection of the two lines becomes the center of the circle put the compass there the radius becomes the distance from the point of intersection to the light to the island either or right or left and then draw a circle in a way that the circle intersects both the islands that circle should also pass through the position of the ship that you have plotted by using the point of intersection before 
if these circles intersect that means you have accurately calculated the position of a ship using the for example 16 angle so i hope this video was simple and you understood what to do when you obtain horizontal section angles how to obtain the set horizontal section angles if you have any comments or any questions feel free to write in the comment section um, i hope these videos are helpful to you and i will uh, see you soon with my next video uh, thank you for watching.